Hey, this is Matt from Vesquan. Today is Wednesday, July 7, 2021. Today is the day of the FOMC Minutes. Those will be released this afternoon at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. And we're going to be looking at what has happened on the FOMC Minutes release day this morning when we're in a bull market environment. So let me go ahead and get that set up here and discover. The setup we'll be using will be based upon entering the market long at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time and exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time. Now for this pattern, what I'm gonna be looking at specifically is a bull market environment where you are above a 10 and 200 day simple moving average and also being on the day of the FOMC minutes. So I'm gonna hop into the market events section and in the market events, there is the FOMC minutes. Let me go ahead and click equals right there to add it to the test. And now I can click view results. And here we go. These are the results based upon entering the market long at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time and exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time when it is the day of the FOMC minutes and you are above a 10 and 200 day simple moving average. Historically, we've got 58 samples to look at here for the S&P. We've got 60 in the NASDAQ, 57 in the Dow, 44 in the Russell. And the win rates on these are a little mixed. The S&P is coming in the strongest of the group at 66% of these have closed above that opening print for the session. The NASDAQ comes in at 57% and the Dow and Russell are a little bit more neutral at 52% each. When you look at the average win and average loss, they're very similar in size for the S&P. The NASDAQ has a sizably larger average win compared to its average loss. The average win is larger for the Dow compared to its average loss. And the Russell is the only one that has had larger average losses compared to its average win. So uh, the wins have been a little bit larger for the NASDAQ and the Dow compared to the losses. The Russell's had larger average losses and the S&P is very similar in size. The win rates on these are a bit mixed. The S&P is the strongest of the group here at 66%. So it has been quite a bit stronger than the other markets for some reason. Uh, not sure why, but it has been. And the NASDAQ coming in second place there at 57%. So hopefully you found that helpful. Good luck today. We'll see you next time.